Hello everyone and welcome back to the Impact Play. My name is Mohamed Alamay, known as It's Yiku, and I'm a show host and producer on the Ones and Twos, and we are your one-stop news shop with the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, and entertainment, sports, music, and esports. Plus, we are also amplifying voices from those respective fields and having those stories told here on Time Back Play. You can join us live over at twitch.tv slash Time Back Play as well as on youtube.com backslash Time Back Play. So no matter uh, wherever you consume your content, wherever you consume it, we are there. So, uh, your support keeps the lights running and keeps the content coming. You can support us over the to the firm slash Time Back Play. We're at your suit. Two supporters and above access to exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and so much more. There are more uh, to become a supporter over on our Discord for more information. But nonetheless, you can even support us free by using our Epic Radio code to Impact Play. We are Epic Partners, so every purchase you make with an Epic Store will be regularly for an Fall Guys and more. No matter where you play or how you play, even if it's a free to play title, when you make any in game purchases or not. Uh, it'll definitely go uh, and support us in, in a brand new way and no extra cost to you when you use that credit code, folks. But nonetheless, this episode of the MMA is also sponsored by Audible. However, me and the team will tell you about that later. This is episode 276. And on the agenda, we have all the announcements from the Xbox and Bethesda 2023 Developer Direct. The winners of the Game Developers Choice Awards. Kratos has taken over L London. A first glimpse at the OnePlus pad. Microsoft is pulling the plug on Alt Space VR and Windows 10. Fox has renewed The Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, and Family Guy. A new look at the upcoming Super Mario's movie. The nominees for the Oscars. The Last of Us has been renewed. Bobby Hall has passed away. USC 287 is set. The Smile are going on tour. Harry Styles is performing at the Grammys. The lineup for the 2023 Tomorrowland Music Festival, the LEC 2023 Winter Split, Phase is looking into a choir, Daniel Rossi, Abderrabo, plus the top stories of the week, folks. So, I guess let's hop into our very first segment of the show where we discuss what I've been playing, I'm enjoying, essentially, what we have been up to. Alrighty, folks, so I've been playing a little bit of Brahalla, which I have a blast of playing. I could easily play two rounds. Uh, and no time at all, no time flat, as well as the ball of the weeks, which I'm having a blast with. Uh, but I'm having also more of a blast by mainlining my favorite character, of course, from my favorite game, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Eivor. And that's about it on that front. I'm playing other games, which I can talk about now. Once I'm done, I'll be able to review them as well. We'll have a review cast for, for those and more. Uh, as well as The Last of Us, Velma, and what have you. That's about it on that front. Uh, as well as Plague Tale Requiem, which we're still playing for our game as playthrough, but I still have a lot of work. And tomorrow, uh, uh, we have the Samsung Unpacked event, which we will be co-streaming as well. So I hope you guys uh, either stay tuned over at Twitch.tv slash play as well as YouTube becomes slash play. We'll be co-streaming to both platforms. And that's about it on that front. Uh, but all in all, I guess let's hop into some housekeeping for you folks without further delay. You can sign up for your free 30 day trial and immediately get access to one credit. If you have Amazon Prime, you have access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audiblechannel.com slash the backplay. Once again, that URL is audiblechannel.com backslash the backplay. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this episode of the backplay. Alrighty, folks, with the first one up, we are in our third year with Extra Life, which is, is an amazing uh, program, a part of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, which is in support of our local Children's Hospital here in Atlanta, Children's Hospital of Atlanta. But nonetheless, uh, the third year in, once again, and I hope you guys can donate as much as you can. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a dollar or it's $10, it would definitely make a long way, and it'll help 
go towards kids that need it the most. So you could donate either on or off stream as well. If you guys are watching us on Twitch, you could donate or by tapping information donate. If you're offline, yeah, you could do the same thing. The command still works. But uh, for those of you everywhere else, uh, be sure to go to our about pages and click on the extra life uh, URL. It'll take you to our donation uh, link and hope you guys consider donating. So nonetheless, with that out of the first one out of the way, uh, we have some uh, review cast episodes that are up for Velma episodes three and four, as well as The Last of Us episode two. So hope you guys uh, check those out uh, before this goes live. And I guess let's get into uh, get into the rest of the housekeeping. We also have a good amount of trailers that are available now, like gaming announcements, exclusive clips, and what have you on our YouTube channel. So youtube.com backslash the impact play. So we have something for everybody. Uh, I guess let's happen. Uh, let's hop into some gaming play for you, new, for you folks. Uh, in, let's roll it. So the first one up is uh, the Xbox and Bethesda 2023 Developer Direct. Everything announced. So uh, we also, if you guys are interested, be sure to check out our cross stream for that event as well. That is on our YouTube channel. And of course, this is coming from our own blog. So uh, today's Developer Direct presented by, by Xbox and Bethesda showcase both extended gameplay and deep dives by their respective studios for Forza Motorsport. Minecraft Legends, Redfall, and more. There's even a surprise announcement by Tango Gameworks, Hi-Fi Rush. There's everything that was announced during the first of the series, of the Developer Direct series, hopefully, and hopefully they have a lot more because I definitely enjoyed this. This was short and sweet. It was about 45 minutes, give or take, plus the extra 30 minutes uh, about for the extended uh, showcase we'll, we'll discuss later on. So, the first one up is the Mojang Studios, alongside Blackbird, Interactive announced their next action strategy game, Minecraft Legends. Players can explore the vast and ever-changing world, a world filled with treasure, mobs, and new characters, and stra even strategize with allies in epic battles against the Pinklands. Minecraft Legends will also introduce a new PvP mode, a first for the Minecraft series, where two teams of up to four players each will work together to collect resources, build and upgrade their corresponding bases, lay waste to and demolish their opponent's forces. Minecraft Legends will be launching April 18, 2023 for our, of course, Xbox Game Pass, PC Game Pass, Windows PC, Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Steam, and the Nintendo Switch. Turn 10 Studios gave you a deep dive of Forza Motorsport and what makes it look, sound, and feel while delivering fidelity, immersion, and realism. Forza Motorsport is the most technically advanced racing simulator the team has ever made. Forza Motorsport is launching this year on Xbox Series... I'm sorry, next year. Yeah, no, no, this year, 2023. On Xbox Series X, S, Windows PC, Xbox Game Pass, PC Game Pass, and Cloud Gaming. By, uh, there's no direct... Uh, release date though it's just uh, an estimate so it looks like they're gonna have it in the second half of the year it's gonna come out so let's go into their surprise announcement by tokyo gameworks in the studio behind the evil within and ghost wires tokyo surprised everyone with their announcement of hi-fi rush it is a different un uh, and unlike anything the team has ever worked on uh, it is a single player rhythm action rpg players will take on the role of chai whose music is fused into his chest and is also the power source behind his abilities. You will take on enemies to even take on the bosses that will help uh, with the help of few, a few allies that you will meet along the way. The game will feature licensed music and tracks from iconic rock bands including Nine Inch Nails, The Black Keys, Prodigy and more. It is available now on Xbox Series X, S, PC and also on Xbox Game Pass. Cinemax Online Studios revealed more information regarding this year's massive chapter update that also calls Online Necrom, which will re uh, uh, return players to the alien lands of Moorland and explore new eastern regions. The chapter will also introduce a new playable class, the Arcanist, and introduce new abilities and mechanics. During the announcement, Cinemax Online Studios have revealed be uh, that be uh, beginning during the announcement, uh, for a limited time, there will be a free trial of ECO Plus, which will include all past chapters, including the excluding the High Isle, 
but will include expansions available to any players with the base game, including Game Pass. Necrom will launch on June 5th, 2023 for PC and Mac, and will launch on June 2023 on consoles for the Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Arcane uh, Austin showed us some extended gameplay for Redfall, giving us an in-depth look into the open world, the vampire bosses, even the mighty vampire gods that you will take on. Redfall can be played single player or even co-op with friends, and finally, uh, you'll be able to free Redfall Massachusetts from the clutches of the vampires and their respective cults. It will launch on May 2nd, 2023 on Xbox X, S, PC, and Game Pass. And as the reveal, it was the Necrom Global Reveal at the very end. Uh, which it showed us the brand new expansion as well as the Scribes of Day the, uh, Fate DLC. The expansion will include two new dungeons, uh, I don't want to botch this. Scriveners, mm, excuse me, Hall and Bal Signer. And it will also include two new zones Telvani Penun, Peninsula and Piocrefa. The DLC will include 30 hours of gameplay that will be made available on March 13, 2023 for PC and March 28, 2023 for consoles. As previously announced, Bethesda the game studio Starfield will also have its own standalone show. In addition, the teams are working hard. We'll be sharing more of what's to come when the Xbox and Bethesda return to Los Angeles for their yearly showcase in summer of 2023. Oh, that was a, a lunky. And also we have a cover of athlete reveal for WWE 2K 2023. This one's coming over from GameSpot. As well as a release date for March 17th. And John Cena serving as the cover. Alright, so that's it on that front. Uh, we also have, speaking of the WWE, the uh, WWE's uh, Zelina Vega joins Street Fighter 6 as a commentator following her Royal Rumble event. Uh, so, uh, she will be featured as a commentator, uh, when Street Fighter 6 launches on June 2nd, 2023. Thank you, Jen, for that one. Uh, next up, we have the winners of the Game Developers Choice Awards coming from GameIndustry.biz. Uh, hmm... Actually, we have the nominees of the Game Awards, of the Game Developer Choice Awards. Oops. When will this be taking place? Hold on, let me see if that date is here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, it'll be, it'll take place in person in this year's GDC at San Francisco's Mozone Convention Center from March 20th to the 24th. And the nominees for it. We have Game of the Year, uh, Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Immortality, Pentiment, Stray, and Tunic. Best Audio. Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Metal Hustlinger, and Stray. Best Debut. Neon White, Nurkle, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. Best Design. Elden Ring, Marvel Snap, Neon White, Stray, and Tunic. Innovation Award. Elden Ring, Immortality, Neon White, Pentiment, and Stray. Best Narrative. God of War, Ragnarok, Alpha Teenage... Exo Colonist, Immortality, Pentiment, and Return to Monkey Island, Social Impact Award. As Dusk Falls, Citizen Sleeper, Endling Extension is Forever, I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist, Ali Ali World, and We Are OFK. Best Technology, A Plague Tale Requiem, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Elder Ring, God of War Ragnarok, and Horizon Forbidden West. And Best Visual Arts. Elder Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Cards of the West, Pentiment, and Stray. A lot of familiar faces this year. We got the win win who will take home the win. Alright, next up we have a giant Leviathan X has been spotted in London. Reports claim Kratos is furiously match, uh, mashing Triangle in Midgard right now. So, PlayStation is apparently doing a collaboration with... God of War Ragnarok. 
and I'm gonna show you the images coming over from PlayStation UK's twi Twitter account. Alrighty, let me just switch over. Give me a minute. Hmm, where are you? Found it. There we are. There's the giant X. Let's get out of here. And let's go to the reply. Is even is in one more image. There you are, folks. So kudos to the folks in London. If you have any listeners in, in the UK, uh, let us know. Let us know if something goes read them all. I will definitely uh, read it. Uh, read it or play it live on the show. So we have an update for you folks on Apex Legends and uh, Battlef uh, Battlefield Mobile. So unfortunately, they are ending supports for both games, and these are both coming from EA sites. So the first one is Apex Legends, uh, duh, 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 duh. Apex Legends Mobile, I should say. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so beginning today, as of this recording, January 31st, they'll be disabling all real money in-app purchases in the game, also removing the game from web stores. During this period, players can spend their existing syndicate gold and continue playing the full game at 4 p.m. on May 1st, 2023 at uh, Pacific Time, so Eastern, we minus, uh, we, I guess, take off three, so it's like 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, those these operations in all regions of the game will no longer be playable. And I definitely enjoy Apex Legends Mobile. Oh, well, well over Call of Duty Mobile. Like, I don't understand why they're in the support for it. But yeah. And let's get into the battlefield as well. Uh, mm, So they're, all, all, all it is is that they're stopping uh, development for both titles, but that's about it on uh, the Battlefield front, Battlefield Mobile. And we have an update for you regarding Star Wars Jedi Survivor. There has been a delay and it will arrive April 28th coming from EA as well. Of course, take all the time you need to make the game great. All right, it looks like that's it for your gaming play, folks. I guess we're gonna move on to tech. All right, so we have a little bit of some Apple news for you, folks. Uh, the first one is coming from The Verge. The Apple's reportedly working on a way to make AR apps that are as simple as talking to Siri. Apple's apparently working on a way to let you make apps for its long rumored mixed reality headset using Siri, according to a new report from The Information and be able to share with others via the App Store. The technology behind that comes from a startup named Fabric Software. All right, but that's about it on that front. Next up, we have something from Mac Rumors. Now, there are multiple rumors that have suggested that the next uh, iPhone update the iPhone 15 models will adopt a Wi-Fi 6E standard, but uh, uh, that the iPad Pro and Mac Pro, uh, let's see, let me get into this, folks. Uh, okay, so uh, the iPhone 15 will feature... Uh, a, a slower Wi-Fi module than the iPhone Pro and Pro Max. They will use Wi-Fi 6 instead of the Pro, which they will be using Wi-Fi 6E.
and uh, Wi-Fi E is apparently uh, will be available in uh, the, also the iPod Pro, the Mac Mini. Oh yeah, that's about it in the front. Uh, next up, we have something from AP News. Uh, let me pull it up. Alrighty, let's see. We have a recall from Ford that has recalled over almost 400,000 SUVs for a backup camera issue. A touchscreen may not display a camera image when backing up. The recall covers certain 2020 to 2023 Ford Explorer and Lincoln Aviators and some 2020 to 2022 Lincoln uh, Corsairs. All are equipped with 360-degree cameras. But that's about it. Uh, the only thing here that deals with update the software, and everybody will be notified. Owners will be notified on February 20th. All right. Next up, we have something from The Verge. The Microsoft is removing Windows 10 Home and Pro downloads from sale later this month. The downloads will include license kit for Windows 10, uh, and they're being removed for more than two years before Microsoft stops officially supporting Microsoft 10 on October 14, 2025. Even I haven't even made the move to Windows 11 yet. I'm going to wait until they perfect it. Maybe in like a year or so. And then, yeah, it should be good. Because there's always driver updates and issues that are going to be following this. So, yeah, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to take that risk. And making that move anytime soon. Also, on, uh, on other news, on Venture VentureBeat, Alt Space VR is going dark in March as part of a pair of, of uh, Microsoft's recent restructuring. According to a recent report, the VR-based social space will officially sunset on March 10th in favor of Microsoft Mesh. It's offering users a chance to say goodbye to the platform and download their content before it goes offline. Alright, that's about it. And lastly, we have an exclusive first look at the OnePlus Pad uh, that is coming from TechRadar. All right, give me a moment. Let me show you that first look with you folks as well. Oh, what do you know? There it is. There is the tab. Smooth without equal. Uh, that's too big. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. I can't wait to see what's inside of this. Okay. And let's get into the rest of this article. So the OnePlus is getting its global launch. Uh, the OnePlus 11 is getting its global launch on February uh, 7th. Uh, alongside the OnePlus Pad. It will be launching alongside it. So it looks like it's coming in uh, the Halo Green shade. Which OnePlus uh, claims blends the vibrancy of life with the vastness of space. The real of the color is off of too. But this is the only one that they've been told about. The design also includes an aluminum alloy body and a cambered frame, which uh, should make it comfortable to hold for extended periods of time. There's a single lens, lens camera joining out the rear, and in such a position, which is apparently an ideal position for taking photos. Uh, but that's about it. So I guess we'll learn more during its uh, official debut on February 7th, which will uh, update you folks accordingly as well. So that's it for tech, folks. I guess we'll move on to entertainment. Alrighty, folks. So we have the first one up is our first official look at Vin Diesel's Fast 10. Of course, this is coming from our official blog. Which will we will show you guys. We'll show you the official poster as well that we have. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
All right, there we are. Here's Vin Diesel. The end of the road begins. Whole thing across necklace, fast 10. Coming in May. That's about it. All right. So let's read the transcript. Alrighty. So, Vin Diesel has confirmed via his social media and gave us our first official look at the next Fast and Furious film, Fast 10. There will be a fan event celebrating the launch of Fast 10 in Los Angeles, California, featuring the cast and Fast family themselves on February 9th, 2023. The jailer itself will make its worldwide debut the following day at 8, 11 a.m. Eastern and 8 a.m. Pacific on February 10th. Alright. That's it on that front. I guess we'll go on to the next episode, uh, the next uh, thing we have here from the Hollywood Reporter. LeBray has been renewed for a third season at NBC. So that's about, it's literally it. Uh, the next up is uh, Succession is getting season, another season, season four, coming from iHeart. On HBO Max, is scheduled to debut, uh, let me see, March 26, the 10 episode season. And next up, we have Fox has renewed The Simpsons, Boss Brokers, and Family Guy coming from our official blog as well. So Fox has greenlit renewals for The Simpsons, Box, Bob's Burgers, and even Family Guy, continuing their long runs all the way through 2025. The renewals paves the way for season 14 and 15 for Bob's Burgers, seasons 2022, um, and, I'm sorry, 22 and 23 for Family Guy, and seasons 35 and 36 for The Simpsons. With this trio of renewals, we celebrate excellence in animation on Fox, our wonderful long-time partnership with 20th uh, Television and their brilliant creators and incredible voices behind these forever's, forever favorites, said Fox Entertainment President Michael Thorne. Three plus decades of The Simpsons were more than, more than two decades of Family Guy, nor a decade of Bob's Burgers proves the enduring power of the animation genre on our network and the infinite fan affinity for these outrageous funny comedy classics. So kudos to the shows for living up all this long. So, uh, we have a little bit of side news. Annie Worshing uh, has passed away, uh, who played Tess in The Last of Us video title. She was 45. Uh, she died following a two-year battle with cancer, uh, and, she, and it was confirmed through a GoFundMe uh, campaign, which they... Uh, which they shared, uh, the showrunner of the rookie, uh, Julie Plack, the showrunner, uh, has, uh, she tweeted, unfortunately, to what happened. So may she rest in peace. We have a new trailer for the Super Mario, uh, that showcases Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. And even Cat Mario, which we also have on our YouTube channel. It premiered during the NFC Championship game between the San Francisco 49ers and Philadelphia Eagles. It also gives us an extended look as into the upcoming film. We have new uh, episodes from Ash and Pikachu's final season to hit Netflix in the U.S. next month on February 24th. Coming from IGN. Finally, I, I want to see what the new season is going to look like. Finally, this is ending soon. We have the nominees for the 2023 Oscars for the 95th Academy Awards. I guess let's get into these. Uh, num oh, that's a long way. If you guys are interested in the list, I'll, I'll sh share the article with you in chat. Well, we'll go into the main ones. Uh, best pictures are All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Manchus of Insurance, Elvis, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, The Fan Bowman, 
Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, Woman Talking, uh, Actor uh, in a Supporting Role, uh, Brandon Gleason, Brian Tyree Henry, Judd Hirsch, Barry Keoghan, Ki Hu Kwan, a uh, Actress in a Supporting Role, An uh, Angela Bassett, Hong Chao, Kerry Condon, Jamie Lee Curtis, Stephanie Su, International Feature Film, The Elephant. Uh, the Elephant Whispers, Holland, How Do You Measure a Year, The Martha Mitchell Effect, Stranger at the Gate, uh, Documentary Short, The Elephant Whispers, Hallowed, How Do I Measure, How Do You Measure a Year, The Martha Mitchell Effect, and Stranger at the Gate, and Documentary All the All the Breaths, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, Fire of Love, A House Made of Splinters, and Navel Knee. So next up we have. From IGN and it's originally part of my variety. After the way of water is now at over 2 billion globally, recently surpassing Star Wars The Force Awakens and has is dominated the box office and now and still holds the title for the fourth highest grossing film of all time. All right, next up we have uh, The Last of Us has been renewed for a second season. The drama. It's coming from a, uh, it's coming from official or a block, by the way. The TV drama that's taken the world by storm. The Last of Us has been renewed for a second season. HBO Max made the announcement via a press release. Since its debut, a viewership has surpassed more than 8 million viewers across HBO Max and linear telecast in the U.S. The show has also been hit a hit on social media. The series has been trending worldwide on Twitter. Uh, Craig and Neil, alongside EP Caroline Track. Suits and the rest of our phenomenal cast and crew have defined that genre with their massive, masterful debut season of The Last of Us. Uh, uh, President Orsi, Executive Vice President of HBO Programming and Head of HBO Drama Series and Films. Uh, that's about it. Uh, also, we have a two minute TV, TV series has been ordered, coming from our official blog as well. Phoebe. While the bridge is at it once again after writing the script for the Emmy winning Fleabag TV series, he's also now writing a script for a TV adaptation of Tomb Raider for Prime Video. Sources tell the Hollywood Reporter that through uh, that although Walter Bridge is attached to write the script for Tomb Raider, there are no current plans for her starring in a role. However, she was also uh, uh, said to executive produce the show alongside Ryan and Delina. Amanda Greenbelt and Dimitri Johnson. And next up, we have the first round of images for our Prime uh, Videos, The Power, which we'll share with you momentarily. So, the, uh, it's going to come from official blog as well. The emotionally driven global thrill in an upcoming TV drama, The Power, is based on Naomi Alderman's award winning novel, which we will premiere exclusively on Prime Video in March. So, Tony Coletta will be starring as Mayor. Margaret Clear, Clary Lopez alongside John Legazama as Rob Lopez, or Lily Crazalho as Joss Clary Lopez, Toheb Jomo as Ton Di Oho, Joss Jarls as Joss Jarls as Danielle Danden, Eddie Martian as Bernie Monkey, Ria Zemma. Throwing as Roxy Monkey, Zrinka Kavtazirk Kav as Tatiana, Mash Kalov, and Haley Bush as Ali Montgomery. The power hails from Amazon Studios and Sister with Rail Tucker from True Blood as Shauna. And here are the first round of images from the press release. Um, let me see. All right, let me show you the images, folks. That's all we have for you, folks. All right, moving on, moving on. 
So Glass of Night series, uh, we have some updates for you folks. Uh, they've added uh, Ethan Embry and Sonny Mondre to the upcoming DC series cast in the recurring roles. Uh, they give variety for that. I guess that's it for entertainment, folks. I guess now we're going to move on to sports. Alrighty, folks, so we got another little bit of sad news for you, folks. Bobby Hull has passed away. Coming from CBS Sports. Uh, he passed away on Monday according to an official announcement from the NHL Alumni Association. It was 84 and the official cause of death is not yet known. He spends 15 of his 17 NHL seasons with the Blackhawks and registered 604 goals, 549 assists. He was uh, also a three-time Art Ross Trophy winner. Won the Hart Trophy in back-to-back -back seasons from 1964 to 1965 and 1965 to 1966 and was elected to 10 All-Star Games. He also helped the Blackhawks to win the Stanley Cup during the 1961 season when Chicago defeated the Delta Red Rings in six games. So may he rest in peace. So we have a little bit of Chelsea news for you folks that are apparently going, uh, going after... Uh, them and Arsenal, I should say. Uh, Moises Kassiron. So we just have to wait and see who will acquire him or who will stay with his current team. So you can see BS for that. Next up, we have two, uh, the fight card for UFC 287 for coming from CBS Sports. It'll take place on April 8th. The uh, location of the event is yet to be deter uh, determined. So for the main event, it'll be Pereira against Adesanya. Yeah. And we'll also see uh, Gilbert Burns and George Masvidal face off. Uh, that's about it that we have. Uh, next up, we have, uh, should I should say last up, we have... The Los Angeles Chargers have agreed to terms with Kellen Moore to be their new offensive co coordinator team has announced on Monday. It comes less than 24 hours after the Dallas Cowboys released a statement that said Moore and the team had reached a mutual decision to part ways following the end of season review uh, process. Thank you ESPN for that. So we're done with sports. I guess we're going to move on to music. The first one up is uh, the tour dates from The Smile. They're going on tour, coming from iHeart. Uh, let's see. So they're going to be going on tour starting uh, June 22nd in Mexico City. Uh, making their way through North Carolina. I'm sorry, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, New York. Uh, Pittsburgh, Philly, uh, Canada, Kansas City, and ending the, in um, Chesterfield on July 20th. Next up, we have who's performing at the Grammys. We have Harry Styles, who will be officially performing alongside Bad Bunny, Mary J. Bly, Luke Combs, Sam Smith. And that's about it. Speaking of the Grammys, uh, it'll be, let me see, taking place February 5th in LA uh, at 8 p.m. through 11.30 a.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. through 8.30 p.m. Pacific on CBS. It'll, it, and if you guys are interested in streaming it, it'll be taking place on Paramount+. Plus. All right, we have Coldplay. They've added more dates to their tour from iHeart. Uh, let's see. Uh, they'll be doing more shows on September 23rd in Vancouver, February 28th in San Diego, and October 1st on LA. And Babyface will apparently will be performing at the Super Bowl. Uh, for, let me see.
He is expected to perform alongside Cherry Lee Roth uh, for the national anthem. Uh, we have Chris Ste Stapleton who will deliver the Star Spangled Banner and of course Rihanna will headline the halftime show. We have the lineup for Tomorrowland 2023 coming from Billboard. It'll take place uh, July 21st to the 23rd and 28th to the 30th and featuring more than 600 artists across 14 stages. We have performances including Afrojack, uh, Dom Dola, The Chainsmokers, Hardwell, Shaquille O'Neal, Robin Schultz, Eric Prince, and more. Uh, right, we have Jay Balvin that is going uh, doing a VR uh, experience. All uh, right, it's going from my heart. It will take place February seventeenth. Uh, over uh, Meta Horizon Worlds. And you can also watch on the iHeartRadio's Facebook and Instagram pages. Halloween is going on tour. Dub the Welcome to the Charter Tour. Coming from my heart. Uh, so it'll he'll be going on tour April 4th, uh, starting in Minneapolis, uh, making his way through New York, Philly, Charlotte, Atlanta, Phoenix, and ending his tour in Los Angeles, California on May 13th. Uh, Spotify did launch their Woman of Iran playlist coming from Billboard. Uh, the playlist is dubbed Woman of Iran and includes songs by iconic Iranian singers, including Gugush, Mahashti, and Hayadi, alongside artists like Shervin Japur and Tumaj Salah. Alright. So that's about it. Uh, next up we have a uh, new music from Fallout Boy. Uh let's see. They have teased new music, apparently. Um let's see. His A Studio album is set uh so much for Star This is Set to debut on March 25th. We have a new single by Neil Horan for Heaven. Coming from iHeart. Uh, it will debut, make its debut on February 17th. And we also have new music by Sam Smith. Uh, let's see. For Angloria. Uh, Rosalia and L L Y L M, the Kid Laurie Love Again, uh, Jo Chiloy for Pray It Away, Lil Yachty for Let's Start Here, and Zach Bryan and Maggie Rogers and Dons. Thank you, Bobo, for that one. And another one coming from the last one coming from Billboard as well uh, for the 2023 Billboard Women in Music Awards. Uh, so, they're returning March 4th of this year with Billboard honoring today's most influential female powerhouses who are shaping the music landscape. Uh, Quinta Brinson will host the 2023 ceremony. It'll take place on at the YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park in Los Angeles. It'll honor Becky G with Impact Award, presented by American Express. Uh, Dochi with the Rising Star Award, presented by Honda. Ivy Queen with the Icon Award. Kim Pachos with the Chart Breaker Award. Lato with the po Powerhouse Award, Lane Wilson with the Rule Breaker Award, uh, Lana Del Rey with the Visionary Award, and twice with the Breakthrough Award. And women performances and the talent, uh, will, as well as the 2023 Woman of the Year recipient, will be announced later. It will take place. Oh uh, no, the pre sale is taking place. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, I'm going to show you the link with you in chat now. Uh, how do I copy this thingy? Copy link. 
All right. So that's it for music. We're going to move on to our last and final segment, eSports. Alrighty, folks. So the first one up is the LEC 2023 Winter Split. Coming from AFK Gaming. It'll be taking place winter, spring, and summer. Uh, the winter split will kick off the 21st. Of, it was already kicked off. And yeah, I guess let's see. Week three will be taking place uh, April second. Uh, and the next uh, and the uh, uh, other ones are will taking place May through June. All right. Uh, next up, we have uh, Overwatch's World Cup is making a comeback. It'll feature 36 teams uh, across three regions coming from DOT Esports. Uh, uh, since three years ago. Right next up, we have Tekken Seven: uh, The Road to Evil Japan 2023 Indian Region. We'll, uh, let's see, we this was coming from AFK Gaming. So, a player is from India have received the opportunity to compete at Evil Japan 2023. Uh, Nodwin Gaming is hosting the qualifiers for for that region regional event with a total prize pool of 2,500 USD. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. It'll take place. Registration will occur February 3rd. And it'll... Let's see. Uh, so week one, registration is February 3rd. Uh, week two, February 10th. And week three and four, uh, February 17th and February 24th, respectively. And the finale will take place March uh, the 5th of March. Alrighty. So, uh, last up, we have the Lima Majors. It will take place February 22nd through March 5th in Lima, Peru. Uh, so, the Winter Tour is coming to an end. It's the first DBC Major of the season. It will consist of 18 different teams from 6 different regions. So, the confirmed teams, uh, we have... 15 out of 18 confirmed teams from Team Liquid to Team Spirit, TSM, Evil Geniuses, Talent Esports, Tunji Esports, and even Entity from different regions from Europe to China and even North America, Shopify Rebellion. So next up we have, uh, let's see. The CPS New State Mobile India Open, India Challenger Final, uh, coming from AFK Gaming.
So the grand finale uh, will be taking place. It looks like it looks like it did take place. Let me see. It looks like Team Saul took first place, Wanted Gaming took second, Big Brother Esports third. And we have, uh, I guess, a little bit of roster news for you folks, kind of. Uh, let's see, we have uh, Moin, no chance, Ijaz has been suspended for uh, alleged unsportsmanlike conduct and false the former T statements. Uh, ESFI reportedly sent a jazz a show cause notice on October 27th and later considering his response to the notice as unsatisfactory. Thank you, AFK, for that. Uh, DOT Esports reports that Blast is bringing a third offline CSGO tournament to North America with Blast Premier Spring f uh, f uh, Finale 2023 in DC. The tournament will be held in the uh, Entertainment and Sports Arena in the capital of the U.S. It will take place from June 7th through the 11th, with the price will of $425,000 up for grabs. Uh, next up, we have uh, Dav Padilla will be joining the Florida Mal Mal uh, Maltiners, starting roster to replace Brock. The Call of Duty League franchise has announced... And lastly, it looks like FaZe is in discussions to sign former TSM Valorant star Daniel Rossi Abderrabo in an attempt to complete his Valorant roster ahead of the start of the North America Challengers League. Multiple sources have reported to DOT Esports. So that's it for Esports, folks. I guess we'll get into our reading mail. If you guys interested in something's reading mail, here's how you can contact us. We want to know your feedback, your thoughts, even any questions you may have for us, send us free email. Uh, if you guys listen to us on Spotify after each and every episode, there will be a question that lets us know your feedback or your thoughts on that current episode. You can let us know there, or you can let us know by sending us free email, an email to readmail at mplay.com, via Discord, or even by leaving a voice note over at England at Defense, slash to make play, where your feedback, even any, any questions that you may have for us will be read live here on the show. Thank you guys so much for making a guest part of your day. We should join a community server, or, or Discord server. We should turn to our SMH Discord and chat guys listening us to us on Twitch. If you, if you go to our about pages everywhere else, and the Discord link will be there for you. And for link. And guys, we're trying to like sub, so we need, we need your help. Share the channel with your friends and family, and you can believe we went away from the show. Thank you guys so much for making us a part of your day. Uh, for all, for our two, two supporters and above, I'll see you on the post show. For everyone else, have a good one. <laughs>